The Senate has prohibited the payment of ransoms to kidnappers in its bid to complement the federal government's effort to tackle the disturbing spate of insecurity in the country. Payment of kidnap ransom was criminalized by the lawmakers during plenary in Abuja as a part of the Terrorism Prevention Act 2013 Amendment Bill 2022 following the receipt and consideration of a report by the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters on the bill. In his remark, the Senate President Ahmed Lawan congratulated his colleagues on the passage of the bill, which he said was very important. And joining us on the news at this time to talk about the newly passed bill is Executive Director, Rule of Law and Accountability Advocacy Center, Imo State, Oke Nwangoma. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Nwagoma. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Good evening to you. Now, the Senate says that the purpose for this bill is to discourage the rising spate of kidnapping and abduction for ransom cases in Nigeria. Do you see this being achieved? Can you say that again? The purpose for which this has been passed by the Senate is to discourage discourage the rising spate of kidnapping and abduction for ransom cases in Nigeria. Do you see this being achieved? Well, uh, first, first of all, you know, what we find, uh, you know, happening quite often is that when the National Assembly are reviewing laws or trying to make laws, um, they seem to do it without, you know, uh, the involvement of informed critical stakeholders. And security laws, you know, burden on security ought to be carefully, you know, um, uh, carefully looked at when they need to review. They also need to ensure that there is public sharing that critical stakeholders who are informed are involved in this review. Now, when we are talking about uh, criminalizing uh, payment of ransom, I don't know how realistic this sounds to me because what we want to hear is how much has government, you know, put measures in place to ensure that kidnapping is curtailed, that these, you know, terrorists who are kidnapping Nigerians every day do not continue to have a few days. Because when people continue to be kidnapped and government and security agencies don't seem to have the capacity to rescue those who have been kidnapped or to even stop kidnapping or reduce it to the very minimum. And the family members of the victims have are left with no option than to pay ransom to rescue the you know to that member. How would you then say that people should not pay ransom? Of course, under normal circumstances, we do not want to see people pay ransom. We want to see a situation where when citizens are kidnapped, the security agents are in a position to rescue them, and there will be no need to pay ransom. But when this does not happen. What options are family members? Have? So I think that our legislators need to be realistic in, in the things they say and do, you know, especially with regards to combating terrorism. If you are talking about terrorism, the anti terrorist act, there are aspects of it that needs to be looked into. For example, the what is even the definition of, you know, of, of terrorism. Terrorism, as defined under the current act, gives, uh, you know, all the strength latitude and discretion to security operators to define everything as terrorism. So you will see journalists who, who write critical stories arrested and charged with you know, you know, ter 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 terrorism. You see people, uh, you know, agitating for self-determination, they are liable terrorists. And government is going like, there's no judicial review, there's no accountability for security agencies who in, in, engage in excesses in the pretext of of fighting terrorism. Okay, well, the situation at hand now is that this bill has been passed. And that means that anyone who pays any terrorist, any kidnapper, um, stands at the risk of being imprisoned. And we know that there are people who, are being who have been kidnapped. They are right now at the kidnappers then, which is the way forward for victims and families of victims as we speak. So what this means is that government wants to you know, further victimize those who are already victims. Because those who are kidnapped are the primary victims. Their family members are the, are the secondary victims. 
for taking steps in the in the absence of government ability to discard its duties of securing people to pay ransom to rescue their kidnapped members, they are going to be considered as uh, ha- having committed crime. I, I think that this needs to be reviewed again. This cannot be a law. It can't be a law. How can it be reviewed? By whom? I, I mean, the, 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 that, is the point about, that is the point about ensuring that they involve typical stakeholders who are informed in reviewing laws because no sensible person will, 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 uh, will support this kind of review that says if you pay ransom, you have committed a crime. But government is not able to, to, to rescue people who have, been, who have been kidnapped and families have no option. Well, you are the Executive Director, Rule of Law and Accountability Advocacy Center, Imo State, Okengwangoma. Sorry, I added your name to that. I just wanted to clarify your office. And I, I just think that we've gotten to the point in the country where we go beyond talking and saying it should be. It sh- How do we start this process? No, no, I, I mean, I mean, I, I, mean, I mean, what I'm saying is that uh, in the days to come, I'm sure that uh, those who, who know will, will also weigh in on this review. As far as I'm concerned, it's not realistic. Well, I, 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 what? Okay, if 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 they say people should not pay ransom to the school, there are family members who have been they, they, they kidnapped. Is there assurance that the security agencies will be able to rescue them when they are kidnapped? Is there assurance that the security agencies have been strengthened to be able to you know to to, to you know to 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 to, 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 to combat you know kidnapping and visits to east various various you know. No, no, no minimum. Before they will say don't pay ransom, it, it means that they have put measures in place to ensure that once people are kidnapped, government security agencies are in a position to also rescue them. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Oke Nwangoma. You are the Executive Director, Rule of Law and Accountability Advocacy Center. Thank you so much for your time and insight. Thank you. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.